tell me about your painting, sir? I guess this is Saturn devouring his son. It is a black series series painting that I painted, and it is not from Kinko's. It's real painting that between 1819 through 1823. Subject matter, sir. It looks a monster. Looks like it's eating a naked but naked human. He's eating his ham but missing his head and his right arm. Blood everywhere. And he disappeared to be naked. I don't know what that is yet. I will explain later. And what is your work classified as? Non-representational. What about the eight traits? What do you consider this painting to be? Consider this painting to be originality. Because not a lot of people will draw this kind of painting. That a father would eat his own son. It is the Roman mythology. Please tell me about the form. It is oil mural transfer canvas. And what about the content? Content is very interesting. I like the story myself. It's about this father who is scared because one of his son is going to overthrow him, just like he did with his father, Saturn. So one day, he ate all his kids, and the last son, the wife, Ops, decided to hide his last son from him. But instead, replace him in stone and swindle and present it to him. And then, later, later as the myth foretold, his last son supplanted him. Can you tell me about the context this time? I decorated my room with these images and it reflects what is known today as the black painting. These paintings were never meant to be in public, but this reflects the darkness of my mood. Can you tell me the theme now? The theme is sacred realm because of a god, and history or stories because of the Roman myth. What about this painting? This is the 3rd of May. 1808. It's about a Spanish resistance in the Napoleon army. An occupation duty of 1808. Can you give me a visual element? The light. Focusing on mainly on him. What about a principle of design? An emphasis mainly on this lamp and focusing only on him due to the fact that he's in color and everything else is in dark. So, right here. Okay. What about this painting? The Forge. I painted it in 1870. Can we move on? This is Charles IV of Spain and his family. I painted it between 1800 and 1801. Thank you, sir, for your time. No problem. Thank you. Are you going to be free after? Anyways, um, we're going to go to our next one, Paul Klee. This should be very interesting. So where is Paul Klee? Come on, Choo-Choo! Come on, Choo-Choo! Come on, Choo-Choo! is going to be momentarily busy. We'll be right back. Dude, Paul Klee's been in there for like 10 minutes. Oh, shoo, come on, choo-choo. Come on, choo-choo. Let's go. We're good. Come on, choo-choo. Let's look at our art. Look. Look. I did all that. I did all that. Are you proud of me? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's pretty good, choo-choo. Paul Klee? Huh? Paul Klee, that's you, right? Yeah, that's me. Yeah, okay. Um, can you tell me when you were born? Well, Choo Choo says I was born December 18th, 1879, Switzerland. Mm -hmm. Um, can Choo Choo tell me more about your life? Let's find out. Yes, in fact, he can. Oh, 
is it gonna be on the wall again, like Goya's? Nope, 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 it's right here. Oh, convenient. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead, go away, go! Please, insert dollar go, here. Go, I don't need your hand. Insert dollar here. Pikachu! <laughs> insert dollar here. Here's for this your tears. Stupid robot. Insert dollar here. Insert yeah, dollar here. A Swiss-born painter and graphic artist whose personal, often generally humorous works are replete with illusions of dreams, music, and poetry. Space. The paintings of Klee, it that would be me, is difficult to classify. His earliest works were pencil landscapes studied that showed the influence of Impressionism. Until 1912, he also produced many black and white etchings. The overtones of fantasy and satire in these works show the influence of 20th century Expressionism, as well as such master printmakers as Francisco Goya and William Blake. His friendship with the painters of Wesley Kandinsky and August Matt, prom Matt prompted him to join the Blue Rider, an expressionist group that contributed much to the development of abstract art. <clears throat> Clay wrote that art does not reproduce the visible, it makes visible and he pursued the goal in a wide range of media using the amazingly inventive battery of techniques. Line and color predominates his, uh, him, but he also produced series of works that explore mosaic and other effects. His works influenced all later 20th century surrealists and non-objective artists and was a prime, a prime source of the budding abstract expressionist movement.